And hello guys, in today's video we are talking about the 5 richest women in the world. So stay tuned and don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. 5 richest women in the world Well, there aren't any women on the list of the top 10 richest people in the world. There's no denying some women have been making huge fortunes all over the world. The number of women billionaires is on the rise. Number 5. Miriam Adelson, $37 billion Miriam Adelson is the widow of Sheldon Adelson, the former CEO and chairman of casino company Las Vegas Sands who died at 87 in January 2021. She now owns more than half of the $48 billion gambling empire with casinos in Las Vegas, Singapore and Macau. As GOP mega-donors, Miriam and Sheldon Adelson donated $180 million. The Republican Campaigns and Political Action Committees in 2020, born in Israel, she became a medical doctor focusing on addiction. She and Sheldon founded the Sheldon G. Adelson Research Clinic in Las Vegas, which treats people with opioid use disorder. Miriam inherited most of her fortune and leapt to a net worth of $38.2 billion, becoming the richest Israeli, fifth richest woman and 36th richest person in the world. She overtook Russian-Israeli oligarch Roman Abramovich. From Chelsea soccer club owner who became a citizen of the Jewish state several years ago and has been the wealthiest Israeli national. However, Abramovich also had a successful year, earning $4.2 billion for a total net worth of $14.5 billion. Number 4 Julia Koch $46.4 billion Julia Koch and her three children inherited a 42% stake in Koch Industries from her husband David, who died in August 2019. Age 79, an Iowa native, Koch moved to New York City in the 1980s and worked as an assistant to fashion designer Aldolfo. She worked with many of his high-profile clients, including First Lady Nancy Reagan. Julia met David via a blind date in 1991. They ran into each other again six months later, began dating and got married in 1996 with her late husband. She donated $10 million to Mount Sinai Medical Center and $10 million to Stanford Children's Hospital to study food allergies. When he died, Koch controlled a fortune estimated at $53.5 billion, making him the seventh richest American in a tie with his brother, Charles Scotch, according to the Forbes 400 ranking. Koch also left behind at least $143 million worth of real estate in New York City, the Hamptons, Aspen, and Florida. But the fate of those properties after his death is unknown. Number 3 McKinsey Scott $59 billion Scott, whose marriage to Amazon founder Jeff Bezos ended in 2019, became the biggest philanthropist of the coronavirus pandemic, giving away $5.8 billion in grants to 500 nonprofit organizations across the U.S., supporting causes including racial equity, LGBTQ rights, and public health. She recently remarried and her husband, science teacher Dan Jewett, joined her 2019 pledge to give away much of her fortune. As part of the divorce settlement, Bezos transferred 25% of his Amazon stake to Scott, which was 4% of the company in May 2019. Shortly after she announced the terms of the divorce on Twitter, she signed the giving pledge. Scott and Bezos met in 1992 and they both worked at hedge fund D.E. Shaw. They married the following year and moved to Seattle in 1994. Scott, who has published two novels, was a student of author Toni Morrison at Princeton and worked as a research. Destined for her, in late July 2020 she announced she'd given nearly $1.7 billion to 119 nonprofit groups and that she changed her last name from Bezos to Scott. Number 2. Alice Walton, $66 billion. The daughter of Sam Walton lost her spot as the world's richest woman took Francoise Betancourt Myers, who still gained $7.4 billion in the past year thanks to Walmart stock rising more than 5% since mid-March. 2020 The retailing giant introduced free delivery as part of an Amazon Prime-like membership program, helping boost online sales 69% in the year through January. Her impressive net worth mainly accumulated through Walmart's monolithic success in retail, makes her the 17th richest person in the world. Alice Walton is the only daughter of Walmart founder Sam Walton. She is focused on curating art rather than working for Walmart like her siblings Rob and Jim. In 2011, 
she opened the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in her hometown of Bentonville, Arkansas. Crystal Bridges features works from the likes of Andy Warhol, Norman Rockwell, and Mark Rothko. In January 2020, she took aim at America's broken healthcare system and unveiled plans to open a holistic health institute in Bentonville. Alice Walton was born in Newport, Arkansas on the 7th of October, 1949. Walton was raised along with her three brothers in Bentonville. She graduated from Bentonville High School in 1966 and Trinity University in San Antonio, Texas with a BA in Economics and Finance. Alice was an equity analyst and money manager in her early career. She was also a broker for E.F. Hutton. In 1988, she founded Llama Company, where she was president, chairwoman, and CEO. Walton is one of the first people to chair the Northwest Arkansas Council, and she also played a significant role in the development of the Northwest. Arkansas Regional Airport The Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport Authority recognized her contributions to the creation of the airport and named the terminal the Alice L. Despite being one of the richest women on earth, Alice lives a very humble life and is also a firm believer in philanthropy. She currently lives in a 3,200-acre ranch in Texas. Walton has maintained a reclusive life, focusing her energy and time on breeding race-winning horses. Number 1. Francois Betancourt Myers, $82.9 billion Francois Betancourt Myers may be the richest woman in the world. But her life hasn't been easy. The granddaughter of L'Oreal founder Eugene Schuler Betancourt Myers inherited a cosmetic fortune now valued at $56.8 billion in 2017 after a dramatic legal battle with a close friend of her mother's. Unlike a typical billionaire heiress, Betancourt Myers has focused her attention on her career as an author and a member of L'Oreal's board of directors, Benton Court. Myers and her family own around 33% of L'Oreal stock. She has served on L'Oreal's board since 1997 as chairwoman to the family holding company. She became France's reigning L'Oreal heiress in 2017 when her mother, Lillian Betancourt, then the world's richest woman, died at age 94. Myers also serves as the president of her family's philanthropic foundation, which encourages French progress in the sciences and arts. Together, L'Oreal and the Betancourt Myers family agreed to donate $226 million to repair Notre Dame Cathedral following the April 2019 fire. The makeup aisles at Target, Walgreens, Ulta, and most other retail giants all feature products from L'Oreal. The International Personal Company was founded in 1909, and anyone who inherits large shares in the company is very, very lucky. Overnight, Francois became the world's richest woman but she didn't inherit her fortune without a fight. A man named Francois-Marie Benier tried to con the elderly Leanne, so Francois took him to court. They settled out of court, and Francois Betancourt Myers and her family went on to inherit 33% of all L'Oreal stock. According to Forbes, her current net worth hovers at a lofty $82.9 billion. Even with enough money to buy a mansion in every state, an island, and probably an entire small country, Francois Betancourt Myers is only the 12th richest person in the world. With the persistent wage gap and the prevalence of women taking on more child read hearing responsibilities, men have consistently topped the list of richest people. Even so, cracking the top 15 is quite impressive. Thank you for your attention, and if you haven't fallen asleep and you liked the video, Please give a like, subscribe and press the bell notification button for updates on new videos. Thank you.